In today's video, we'll discuss the major things you need to know before traveling to Sri Lanka. We'll cover subjects such as visa application, border requirements, airport ATMs, what SIM cards to buy, shuttle taxi from the airport, and at the end, we'll share with you our dream accommodation in Colombo. We have a pretty large agenda, so let's start right away. First and foremost, you need to apply for an online visa. For this, you need to apply before arriving to Sri Lanka. We'll put the link in the description. We chose the tourist visa for double entry for 30 days, for which we paid $50. This process is easy to follow and will take you no more than 15 minutes. You'll pay at the end of your application process. You'll get your visa almost instantly via email. Some countries will pay only $20 and all countries will enter free to Sri Lanka if you're just transiting for less than two days. After you've received the visa, download it on your phone or print it to have it on hand. At the border, you'll be asked for it. After landing, you'll need to complete the arrival card, which you will find it right at the immigration border. You'll need to fill details such as flight number, passport number and address from Sri Lanka. At the border, we show the passport, the arrival card completed and the printed visa. Everything went smooth and easy. You'll find plenty of ATMs after passing the customs area. Our recommendation is to withdraw money here as it is convenient to do that and fees are decent. We chose BOC or the Bank of Ceylon and we found out later after extracting money at different banks that was the best pick. We withdrew $600 with a fee of around $4. Trust me. Is one of the best fees you can get. Be very careful as the ATM will give you the money first, will then ask you if you want to do any other transactions and just at the end will give you back the card. I almost forgot it there once. One last thing here, many accommodations require cash payment so it's better to have enough cash at hand. We avoided the airport to buy our SIM card because the prices are triple or more. Our recommendation is to buy it from a local store. You will need to provide your passport and an address in Sri Lanka. The process lasts about 10 minutes. What SIM card to choose? Now here I can provide feedback for two companies. I had the SIM card from Dialog and it worked almost all the time without problems. Have consumed just 4 GB out of 10 GB subscription. That was more than enough for two weeks. Have used it constantly for GPS, social media and YouTube uploads. By the way, I made some nice shorts of Sri Lanka that you may want to check after. The Sri Lanka video arsenal is just at the beginning. So be sure to hit the bell notification to not miss any of them. On the other hand, Laura had Airtel SIM card and it was almost never working. <laughs> it had a good connectivity in Colombo, but when we adventured in the south part of Sri Lanka, internet was lacking speed or missing completely. Airtel was not her first pick, she initially wanted to buy a Mobitel SIM card as she heard great reviews about it, but we didn't find any in Colombo. Don't need to book a taxi in advance as you'll find plenty of options in the Bandara Naike International Airport. Each taxi driver will try to offer you some of their best deals. We had offers of 8000 rupees, around 30 dollars, almost double than the offer we picked from Uber. You can order your Uber via the high speed internet in the airport. A 50 minutes drive will take you to the city of Colombo. For accommodation we didn't want to take any risks so we chose 4 stars hotel Grand Bell, one of the best hotels we've ever stayed, with spectacular views of the ocean, from the room and even the bathroom, smart toilet, infinity pool, gym, friendly staff, amazing breakfast, it totally conquered our hearts. We didn't get any barter partnership but we highly recommend this place, don't hesitate to book it. We got a great deal via booking two nights for just $100, incredible. Now it's time to discover Colombo and all Sri Lanka. But wait, my bandwidth for this video is over. Better subscribe now so you'll not miss my Sri Lanka adventures. Also if you're an amateur of remote islands as I am, check out my Bali series, I'll put the link in the description. I might even do a comparison video between these two islands. Can't wait to hear your Sri Lanka adventures in the comment section below and let me know if I can help you in any way because Sri Lanka is poorly promoted. See you in the next one!